Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. So it's time to give you an update on the OnePlus 7 Pro. Uh, this device uh, has stellar battery and I'm just going to go into the battery. I posted some screenshots on, on Twitter. Uh, and as you can see here, 13 hours since the last charge, 83% left, and an hour and a half of usage. Now, this is, to me, and it says more than two days remaining, I like the OnePlus 7 Pro for its battery life for sure. Uh, that's one of the main selling points to me. This full screen display is nice. Um, I, the 90 hertz thing, I don't get as excited like a lot of people do uh, because I don't think it's actually something that you know people even would even notice unless if, if they weren't told that so the screen though while I will say while I'm not just blown away by the screen I'm gonna tell you that uh, video on here is absolutely great so let's see if I can pull up something here man HDR compliant videos are just beautiful on here as you can see that's 480p man let's put it up to 2k uh, this is just a stunning uh, display. It's immersive. You can't deny the full display. The first time I had this device, um, a lot of people said, oh, you, you said you didn't like it. That just didn't happen. Uh, I just wasn't as impressed compared to other devices. But times are shifting and everybody's going with the full display. Uh, and you know, this is where we're probably gonna stay for a while. Even pocket friendly phones like the Mi 9T I bought has a full display. Uh, and that is something that we should probably get used to. Uh, because this is where it's at folks the pop-up camera is sweet we, we can't deny that that's a sweet look now as far as cameras go um, I've I've taken a few shots uh, with this um, for sure I noticed that the lighting has to be right on a lot of these uh, shots that I take most phones don't do well and I pull it off of you most phones don't do well uh, depending on you know what it's taking uh, in certain lighting so, so if I kill off my LEDs and then I take this photo get the right angle right shot right side it's good so I feel like every phone has its high points and every phone has its low points and this phone has more high points than low points um, it's offering a whole bunch for the money when you start to look at the current devices that are out like so the Galaxy Note 10 um, Plus is 1200 bucks for the one that I got right. Uh, I paid 599 for it. I did a trade-in uh, But if I didn't have a trade-in if there were no trade-ins, that's 1200 bucks That's essentially five to six hundred dollars more than this device and you ask yourself is it worth it? Well, obviously not um, if I'm going to refer a, per a person to a stock Android phone, it's always going to be a Pixel. But like I've said in other videos, there's an advantage that this phone has. And you can change the icon pack. You can pretty much tweak this phone without doing much. And that's what I appreciate about it. I've been giving this a fair shake. I, I gave it a fair shake the first time. Uh, but, you know, the second phone that I had, I, you know, the second phone I had, I had microphone issues. So that didn't really count as a... Uh, any kind of review. I went into the cameras and did a camera review with it. Uh, and in fact, this phone has gotten another update. Um, it's gotten two updates, I believe, since I've had it. So I believe that with the updates, the camera software is good. I've posted some things on Instagram. Let's go into the camera here. I posted some some shots on Instagram uh, of the of the device uh, and Twitter. Uh, and this was on a real rainy day, you know, so some people said, oh, it's not as crisp as the um, Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Well, those weren't side-by-side -side shots. It wasn't a side-by-side -side comparison. It was bursting with sun, 105 degrees outside, when I should, took the same shot on the Galaxy Note 10. And it was pouring down raining in that shot. So that shot may look a little dull, but I think that shot was actually a really good shot. It was a really crispy shot. And I think these cameras have been improved with the last, the latest updates that I've gotten. Um, and I think it's definitely a phone that um, the 699, this is one I have, the 699 model is middle ground and it is the best option. And I'm not saying that the bottom line option is not a good option. I'm just saying that for $30 more, and, and OnePlus knows this, uh, $669 for the bottom line version and then thirty dollars more you get 256 gigs with eight gigs of ram it's kind of a no-brainer and the, the top of the line model that i bought that originally the 12 gigs it's not worth the extra 50 bucks because this phone regardless of the of the uh 90 hertz display and all that kind of stuff this phone flies it, it zips through everything man there's 
but nothing that it really can't handle when it comes to uh, pushing out uh, performance. I mean, you got the Snapdragon 855. It's been good so far. I don't have any issues with it. And um, I've really been impressed with it. And that's really what I wanted to update you on. I mean, the first time, again, the first time I had it, it was a deep comparison to the G8 because the G8 is my benchmark. And I don't feel any different about that. But this is a very good competitor uh, to, now if they improve on the camera some more, then okay, you got you have to give the right now. I don't think the cameras still are there yet. Like um, I don't think they have that pop and that wow factor. The wide angle shot on here is really really nice. I, I'm I'm obsessed with the wide angle shot <laughs> shots on phones. But uh, this phone has good cameras. Uh, it has really good cameras, but it has other things going for it other than the cameras. I mean, after genuinely because the first the longest I've used this phone was 15. Four, 13 days 12 days or something like that the first time I had it the second time I only had it for a little bit and I had to send it back or uh, return it and I could have done an exchange that time but I didn't really like dealing with T-Mobile so I returned it uh, paid their fee and got away from T-Mobile now another unlocked version this phone has a lot more things going for it than just um, the uh, cameras man I mean the cameras to me are not top of the line but they are good enough for what I do uh, and you know the other things that outshine the cameras to me is that the first of all the front-facing camera is awesome The front-facing camera to me is better than the rear cameras uh, in a lot of situations uh, But all in all performance is something that this phone has going for it the Beautiful display the battery life and the stereo speakers, you know, there's Lots of things to like about this other than me to harp on how I think the cameras uh, are not the greatest and with improvement, I think OnePlus will get these cameras right. People keep saying install Gcam, false. That's a fake Pixel cam. I'm not doing that. I got a Pixel. If I want the best cameras on a phone, I'm gonna go over to the Pixel. It's just no, it's, it's no other way to get around it. The Pixel has the best still shots. And people who say that the Pixel's video is bad, mm, I disagree. Uh, but this phone has really good video too. Um, I shot video and put it directly to Instagram and it looked fantastic. So uh, anyway, it's your man Jay. A quick follow, just a real brief six, seven minutes. Just to let you know the phone is performing well. I don't have any microphone issues. I don't have anything this time around. And I don't have anything really bad to say about this phone at this point because... Um, using i'll be using this for the next five days or so possibly every day uh until i order something else uh and so when when that comes in then i'll ship shift back this sim this card to the sim, second sim slot uh and then we'll move from there but i've got a lot of other things laid out on the table for you guys so the one plus seven pro man uh it's it's a it's a beautiful phone it's it's gorgeous D don't know why i wouldn't like it um, this third time around, <laughs> I'm really trying to give this phone a chance and I'm going to give it a chance. I'm, I'm doing the best that I can to give this phone a chance. And I really feel like it deserves that second chance, third chance, fourth chance, and the fingerprint reader. I forgot about that. And the facial recognition. Those are other things to like about this phone other than me harping on the cameras, not being the best. That fingerprint reader is the fastest in the game right now. I think. Yeah. It's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Vader.